Welcome to WebSquare 5 Tutorials. Submission. This video will show you how to submit data to the data list that is bound with a grid view and display the submitted data on the grid view. Click the grid view. You can see that the grid view is bound with the data list one. By clicking the data list one, you can see the columns of the data list one. Or, double click the data list on the head tab. The data of the data list one is not locally defined. Instead, we are going to submit the data from the data JSON file. This is when the page in the design view is viewed on the browser. Now, let us create a submission. Go to Outline and Head. And, right-click Submission. Select Add. Submission ID is automatically given, which must be unique. In this case, Submission 1. These are the fields that you must specify for a submission. ID, target to receive data from the server, and URL of the action to submit the data. In this example, we do not define reference that is to send to the server. For target, select data list one that we have previously created. Click add. Check the structure of the added data list. And click OK. For the URL action, enter the name of the file that contains the data to receive. Data JSON. The process message will be displayed during the submission. Now, we have defined the minimum information required for a submission. Click OK and save the page. In order to execute a submission, Use $p execute submission API. Right click the trigger button and add an on click event. Enter $p execute submission submission 1. By pressing F2, you can copy the submission ID from the head tab. This will execute Submission 1. Define the label of the trigger button as $p execute Submission Submission 1. Save. Refresh the browser. Execute the submission by clicking the button. You can see that the data being submitted, and as a result, the data being displayed on the grid view. There are three events related to submission. Submit is triggered right before submission, submit done is after submission, and submit error is upon an error. Double click the submission on the head tab. Submit event which occurs right before submission. You can add an existing function, or click the script button and define a new function to be executed upon the submit event being triggered. The related code is automatically generated. This is same for the submit done and the submit error events. Now, add codes to display submission is about to start for submit. Submission successful for submit done and submission failed for submit error events. Save. Refresh the browser. Click the button right before submission. And upon submission done. Now, let us create a submission with an error to see if the submit error event works. Create submission 2. Define the field same as those of Submission 1.
except the URL action. Enter data ljson instead of data json in order to intentionally cause an error. Enter the process message and add events, submit, submit done, and submit error. Click OK. Same as in submission 1. Display different messages for submit. Submit done. And submit error events. Add an on-click event to the second button. $p execute submission submission 2. Note that the submission 2 has an error. This is to execute the submission 2. Define the label of the second button as $p execute submission submission 2. Save the page and refresh the browser. Click the first button right before the submission. Submission done successfully. Refresh the browser. Click the second button right before the submission. Submit error. Due to an error, no data has been submitted. There are fields displayed upon clicking the detailed button on the submission. Double click the submission and click detailed. Most of the time, the submission is defined at the project level so that individual programmers do not need to set these fields. Showing the detailed fields is only for the reference purpose. Note, however, that the asynchronous mode is recommended. Changing it to synchronous will pop up a warning message. From the debugging menus, select Start Debugging on this screen. Every time a submission being executed, the debugging message will show up. Thank you for watching.